What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's K-pop with Fallon. I am Fallon. I am here with my fiance. William. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing him some BTS videos. He actually knows a little bit yes. right now. Yeah. Just because I'm obsessed. Uh, yes. And she's but, been um, teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he knows who some of the members are. Um, I might still get them wrong, but... <laughs> um, oh, that's what we should do next. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he knows so, who some of the members are. He's heard a lot of their music because I play it in the car and stuff. Um, I've shown him a few live performances and stuff like, you know, um, compilation videos of their high notes, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So he's... He's seen quite a bit with me, um, but I thought I thought it would be really cool to show him some introduction videos so he can he can learn more about them and see why I and we other armies love them so much. Um, okay. So yeah. Yeah. Let's let's <laughs> cheers to that. Oh, let's yes, we have our our wine and our aloe. Uh, my aloe drink. Is it water or? Uh, I think it's what aloe water. Uh, I think so. Well, I mean, the aloe is in there. And yeah. then the rest, I think, is water. I just don't know water. if it's water. Okay. Mm. I would call so, it aloe vera. Wine and aloe water. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got Miss Boston here. Are you joining us today? Yeah. Intro Are video for Boston as well. Mm. Are you joining us? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing him who is BTS by X Celeste. Um, I really love X Celeste. She has some really awesome videos on BTS. Um, so yeah, I think this will be a good one to start him out with. And then of course we have other introduction videos that show like, like mm -hmm. one is called who is BTS, the seven members of Bang Tan. It's kind of outdated, but I still like it because okay. it goes more in depth with each um, member individually and like where they came from, how, you know, okay. their background. Now, this one isn't going to talk about them individually as much as them as a group. Just, oh, right. you know. Okay. So, th I think this is a good one to start with. And she also has another one. This is who is BTS. She has one who is ARMY. Mm. And it's all about the fandom. Mm -hmm. So, okay. we'll do that another time, too. Sounds good. So, yeah. So, <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. And I hope you enjoy the video. So let's check it out. Yeah, let's let's learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Guys, this is this is BTS introduction to BTS by X Celeste. Before we start, I know that little whatever thing right here, that BTS bomb thingy, whatever. Oh, it's called Army Bomb. Army yeah. Bomb. Army <coughs> oh shit. Yes, I have um two up, two or three of them. Three. I have the, well, okay. Okay. <laughs> so look now. I had one when I went to their concert in. 2018, um, uh -huh. and then I couldn't find it oh, okay. for the next concert, so I bought another one, Okay. and then I found the other one, <laughs> so I have two of those, and of course, I can't remember which version they were, I think it's the first one, maybe, or second, I don't know, because they have different versions of it, um, they come out with new ones. Oh, it's like the next iPhone type of style? Yes! <laughs> and then I got the, I think it's the Map of the Soul Edition one, I have that one. Oh, okay. So, what's yeah. what's the difference on the maps of the Soul Seven? Um, between I that one and the I, one before that. Oh, I don't even know if I have them both over here. Okay. This one is the map of the Soul one. Oh wow! It's actually not as big as I not thought it would be. Look at that! Yay! I don't know where my other ones are. They may be put up somewhere. Wow. So is it like? The next version upgrade? That's the newest one that I know of, but I think there may be a newer one after that. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know where my other ones are. Um, do I not have the other one? 
I think the other ones are packed away. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, no. You found them? Here's one of them. So you can just, they're just uh, the look of it. Oh, yeah. look. It's like, this one got like a little thing in there. Right. The I don't know if the batteries are good in the other one or uh, not. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, wow, look, they got the uh, BTS logo in there. Oh, yeah. And so, when you go to a BTS concert, uh-huh. outside of the, re- uh-huh. the arena, they have Army Bomb sync booths. Uh-huh. So, you wait in a long-ass line. Yeah. And you tell them what seat you're in, and they sync your light bomb wow. or your Army Bomb to your seat. So, when it plays a certain song, they change lights automatically according to the song. That's crazy. Yes. So, they're <laughs> synced to your seat yeah. to the music. It's crazy. That, that is crazy. So you know how in my outro video, it's all red? Like, right. they all turn red for right. that certain song. Oh. For, out, was it Outro Tear? I can't remember, but for one song, they're all green. Okay. Some, they're rainbow. Like, they, they are synced to your seat Got for it. each song. It's really cool. So but this is the newest one that I have. Got I it. I don't know if there's been a newer one since this one or not. So was it the one oops, before I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't, yeah. <laughs> Cause any epilepsies, but uh, um, the one that you had outro was this one, or th- th- does this one change color? They do, but it only is only when oh, it's synced to the. Oh, they got the Bluetooth thing right here. Yes, you you do it through your Bluetooth. Okay, like yeah. Okay. Fancy stuff. Yes, it's very awesome. <laughs> and when you travel, we are not allowed to say army bombs. We have to put light sticks. Light stick. Because oh. you can't say bomb at an arm, at an airport. Yeah, why is it say called a bomb? I think it has to do with a military thing because. Okay, got it. BTS in Korean is Bangtan Sonyeondan, uh-huh. which translates to English bulletproof Boy Scouts. So there's like a. Oh, underlying okay. army, like a military thing. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. It's like 21 and then you have blackjacks. Right, exactly. Yeah. So it just goes along with that, uh-huh, that theme. theme. Okay. Yeah, because, of course, the fandom is called ARMY. Okay. But ARMY is actually an acronym. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I ever told you that. No. It actually starts or um, stands for um, Adorable Representative MC for Youth. Okay. Because BTS's whole thing is being a voice for today's youth. Okay. And J Hope said in an interview one time that um, it means to be uh, to be bulletproof against stereotypes and prejudices and expectations. Mm. Yeah. And to give um, oh how does he word it? Um, to pretty much preserve. The ideals and the value of today's youth. Mm-hmm. I think I, okay. I, don't, I think I'm worded that right, but okay. So yeah, it's it, it all goes together. Nice. No, yeah. I I know you always been telling me like the positive message they are spreading and mm-hmm. stuff, stuff like that. So didn't know army was an acronym for something. Uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> a lot of people don't. That's why yeah. I was like, oh, you know, I don't think I've told them that yet. Okay. Um, but yeah. So uh, yeah. But they want to be a, a voice for today's youth and to. Just like the UNICEF collaboration mm-hmm. they had with UNICEF, mm-hmm. um, it was a love yourself campaign mm-hmm. to help children and teens around the world to um, against violence and being yeah. you know mistreated and stuff. So yeah, they're always that's good. Yeah, I, trying yeah. to help the today's youth and stuff and be a voice for people who don't feel like they have a voice or who are unheard. Yeah, so it's amazing. It's really yeah. awesome. All right. Okay, let us get into it. <laughs> a lot of army one. bombs. <laughs> yes, BTS. How many of you have heard of BTS? <laughs> Who is BTS and why are they so popular? BTS is a seven member group from South Korea. While the words boy band are often associated with the image of screaming teen girls, That is far from reality. First, there's nothing wrong with being a young person showing love for something you enjoy. But what if I told you about 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 21% are in their 40s. 
take a closer look at this age and gender Very demographic for BTS's 2020 mm. Map of the Soul ticket sales. Females ages 25 and up made 46% of web traffic, and 31% were males. BTS's fans named ARMY will often tell you BTS is not your typical boy band, and why? To get a better understanding, let us go back to the beginning. BTS was created by Big Hit Entertainment, whose mission statement is music and artist for healing. The company, and namely okay. their CEO, Bang Shi Hyuk, wanted BTS to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with. Not immaculate idols groomed amid studio culture, but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world. Which is why BTS stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan. Korean for Bulletproof yeah. Boy Scouts. Pangtan meaning to be resistant to bullets, so it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations that are aimed at adolescents like bullets to preserve the value and ideals of today's adolescents. In 2017, BTS rebranded their name and logo representing their growth and maturity, extending the meaning to beyond the scene. The new door-inspired logo symbolizes oh. youth who don't settle for their current reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve growth. BTS awesome. debuted on mm -hmm. June 12, 2013 with wow. seven members. So RM, Jin, yeah. Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. All oh seven gosh. members came <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's just try. Okay, okay. Oh, well, I mean... RM, I know it's kind of easy, you know, it's yeah. right in the middle. Try to and go left to right, and if you don't know them, skip them so the viewers know which one you're looking at. Got it. Kind of, you know, even though, yes, I do have bad memory, <laughs> but they just mentioned it. So I, I know, I know. So I, I kind of. That <laughs> might help you. <laughs> okay. No, actually, I asked him last night during the video, and he knew four out of seven. Four, yes. So he's doing good. I might still get it wrong, but this but might not be the best. I, it's a good picture, but I, mm -hmm. he's still learning. So, so they mentioned last, you know, starting from the left. Um, so we got Jungkook. Yep. And then Sugar. Yep. And they got V. Yes. <laughs> RM. Yes. I think that's J Hope. Yes. <laughs> and then Jimin. Yes. Jimin and. Last one. Uh, is it Jin? You <laughs> freaking got it. Good job. You got all seven. Good job. That's because Good they job. just said it. But no. But like I said, last night without watching this, he knew four out of seven. So that was good, though. Yes, yes. I mean, well, don't worry. I, we'll do another video later. <laughs> but no, that was really good. Okay. That was really good. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Good, good. And who's my favorite? Uh, V. Yes. My second favorite? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Jimin. Jimin. Jimin's second. Jimin okay. and okay. Sugar. Okay. But I'm OT7, and OT7 just means you love them all. Like, oh, okay. you don't have necessarily a favorite. OT, like, over time? But I do have a favorite, V. <laughs> but, yeah, so OT7 just means you love them all. Oh, yeah. So it's not an acronym for something? No, uh, well, if it is, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know it. Okay, got it. I just know OT7. <laughs> you love all of them. I, if, if there's an acronym, I, I don't know what it means. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Came from different parts of Korea. So at first, living together in a small apartment was a challenge. Their I mean, CEO, you show me a, yeah, yeah, created a method for the boys whenever they got into an argument. I was watching Nigel's reaction to Rise to Bangtan and it showed. That, that was yeah, when they went to yeah. LA for American Hustle Live. Oh, okay, that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's where you saw that from. Right, yeah, because I remember there were cooking... Mm -hmm. Making their own food and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Here goes our CEO, Bangkiti. Mm -hmm. 
Over the years, the boys have come to love each other despite their difference in personalities, to the point where they'd feel incomplete with one member missing. They became each other's strength and support and formed a brotherhood. 내 머릿속에는 아 옆에 멤버들이 있어야 뭔가 자연스러워 그러니까 뭔가 내 핸드폰이나 지갑처럼 없으면 불안한 그런 것들 있잖아 그죠 소중하다 못해 없으면 안될 사람들이 있긴 하죠 왜냐면은 넘어져도 저 혼자 일어나는 게 아니라 그냥 같이 일어나는 거 생각을 해보면 It's always cool to have a companion and you know the camaraderie that they built. It's not the problem. 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 Their climb to the top may seem sudden to those who didn't follow their journey, but it was far from a walk in the park. BTS's company, Big Hit Entertainment, started off small and faced numerous hardships even coming close to bankruptcy. Since Big Hit wasn't a large company at that time, they lacked the resources for promoting BTS. Eve I don't know if I've told you that before, but in Korea there was like the the they were called the big three. Uh -huh. There's the big the three big entertainment agencies, which was SM Entertainment, okay. which who twenty one the big banger with. Really? I thought it was YG. Oh no, you're right. YG, good lord. <laughs> YG, but then there is SM Entertainment and then JYP. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So those were the, th they're called the big three. And they had uh -huh. a lot of influence over broadcasting companies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, since BTS was from Big Hit, which was a smaller company, they didn't have that influence okay. over broadcasting companies. So mm -hmm. um, as you'll see in this video, like a lot of their performances were, you know, cut short, broadcasted, oh, okay, okay, whatever, because they the had, other bigger companies had influence, you know. They, well, they had to save time for their part, and mm -hmm. so they like, oh, well, you're not that important. Exactly, yeah. okay. so uh, it hurt mm. them in the beginning, but mm. they really didn't know this. <laughs> but it's, it, it's really sad that they even had to deal with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like unfair, but, you know, you're kind of like dealing with company with longer term relationship they're way bigger and so they yeah. you know broadcasting companies obviously are like oh well you know we gotta give some leeway for these guys hey right. these guys are not as important i'm sorry you know yeah they yeah. they had a lot of influence over broadcasting companies and yeah and that clout and all that stuff so yeah. but yeah even getting the chance it. to debut was a fluke their debut performance opportunity came about because a music show needed a filler for someone else's spot. Wow. Even after they debuted, their performances would often get cut. And if they did make it on air, their screen time was very short since Big Hit didn't have the power or influence bigger companies had over you got broadcasts. Some cool hairstyle. <laughs> since they were yeah. often not invited to a lot of big variety shows, the company found their own way to communicate with their audience through platforms such as YouTube. By vlogging mm. their journey, they allowed us to discover their personalities. They, they also up. created their <laughs> own variety shows and often live streamed yes. with oh, fans. Wow. They honed their crafts for hours on end, practicing in the dance studio and producing yeah. music, returning home at dawn to what? all sleep what? in one bedroom. Yeah. Two years one of bedroom. hard work and not yeah. knowing where they'd end up, they finally won their first music show award. Wow. Yet, as they grew in popularity, they were falsely accused of sajeki, which is when a company buys their own artist albums to boost sales for the charts. What? There's such things? That's because people yeah. couldn't believe a group from a small company was selling well, ignoring the fact that a small company wouldn't have the resources to pull <laughs> off such a scam. Exactly. These yeah. were just a few of their hardships and struggles. I created but just a because they come from a small the company, hardships. people couldn't believe they I'll link that in my description it. box. Mm -hmm. Throughout no, the years, yeah. BTS were able to reach impressive milestones while continuing to sing in Korean. They shattered cultural language barriers with music and attracted an international audience. 
they grew organically by staying true to themselves while building a genuine connection with their fans from around the world. During an era where streaming numbers have gone up and traditional album sales have gone down, BTS has become an industry anomaly. Their latest album, Map of the Soul 7, released February 21, 2020, is the best-selling physical album of the year, and they sold over 500,000 copies in just the United States alone. Wow, the biggest 000. kicker? Yeah. Well, BTS did this without a single bundle. And what does bundle mean? Artists would bundle merchandise or concert tickets with the album's sales. For example, a copy of an artist's album, digital or physical, would be included in every t-shirt sale or ticket sold for their concert. Mm. These sales would count towards charting numbers like and that. become an industry-wide tactic in the U.S. to help boost sales figures and in effect climb up the billboard charts. But yet they didn't do in that. In a 2019 okay. New York Times article, they said, about half the 39 titles that topped the charts last year were sold as part of ticket or merchandise bundles. Without the help oh, of okay. bundles and, still... and driven by the power of armies uh, alone, nice. BTS were able to beat a lot of historic records, such as Michael Jackson's 36-year record <laughs> wow. and the Beatles' 22-year record. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. While these musical acts are famous around the world, Sugar has said it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. At the same time, it's a bit pressuring to be called that. We are Beatles, BTS. We want to be the BTS of the 21st century. The members themselves have always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. From their debut album, Too Cool for School, in 2013, to their most recent Map of the Soul 7. All seven members have contributed as either writers and or producers on every album. All of BTS are associate members of the Korea Music Copyright oh Association. God. And as of August 2020, that, that J-Hope, like Suga, and RM like were all we promoted saw in the, to um, the store that we went uh, in Korea. Oh, kind of. Like, yeah. It's like that square looking the thing. The square, yeah. Yeah, the square thing, yeah. Members of the association. They even create music that's released for free on nice. SoundCloud as gifts that, to that's, their fans. That's what kind of, Much of the like, work that's crazy to me. Yeah, like they still health, do their own and music and they release that's a child yes. from BTS. Yeah. 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 Self-love and development and socioeconomic injustices. Much of their work is also inspired by past writers and thinkers. Their latest series, Map of the Soul, incorporates psychological concepts by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung. BTS is not afraid to use their platform to amplify underrepresented voices and issues, taking numerous risks with their career while receiving backlash from people in power. BTS are also as charitable as they are talented. Throughout the years, members have been donating individually and as a group. BTS rarely publicize yeah. donations, so fans How often find out about them if media no, organizations okay, uncover the <laughs> details. One of BTS's few public announcements was in November 2017 for their Love Myself campaign. They partnered with UNICEF to Love create myself. a campaign aimed at yourself. protecting children. Well, it is, but for the campaign, it was called Love Myself oh. because it's teaching you to love yourself. Okay. So. If you were saying it to your to yourself, it'd be love me. Love right, myself. yeah, okay. So, so yeah, they're, which I think it goes into it in this video, but they have three love yourself okay. albums. Well, come here. Come on. Come on. I give you some space. Come on. Okay. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Bossing on cam. <laughs> Hey, Boston. Yes. Say hi. <laughs> 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 no, she doesn't like it. Um, but yeah, they had three albums of the Love Yourself series. Um, but that's that was just the name of the campaign they did with UNICEF was Love Myself because okay. that's what they're teaching you is to love right, yeah. myself. Right. So yeah. If I as if I I were saying it instead. Right. Of, yeah. Them saying to you, hey, love yourself. Right, love. I love myself. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
teenagers from around the world with the hope of making the world a better place through music. BTS and their company, Big Hit Entertainment, pledged 500 million Korean won and donated 3% of the income from the sales of physical albums of the Love Yourself series along with six other fundraising initiatives, including the Love Myself merchandise, where 100% of its proceeds were pledged to the cause. The Love Yourself series, which contained three albums total, sold over 7 million copies wow. worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> On September 24, 2018, BTS was invited to deliver a speech about the Love Myself campaign One day at the United that. Nations yeah, General Assembly. Yeah. On January 15, 2020, Formula E announced their partnership with BTS to help combat <laughs> climate change. Nice. On June 3, 2020, BTS tweeted their support for Black Lives Matter. A few days later, Variety reported that BTS and Big Hit Entertainment had donated $1 million to support the Black Lives Matter movement. When yeah, ARMYs got wind that, of the news, cool they matched they their $1 support million dollar donation in one day. Now, these are just a couple right. of their acts of charity. Yeah, they're just amazing With their socially beings. conscious yeah. music, BTS created a new fandom culture that brings together fans from yes. different national and racial identities. <laughs> this led to the emergence of bilingual army volunteers who translated BTS Korean lyrics and videos in their language almost oh, real time, wow. making the content immediately available to non-Korean speakers. We may all speak different languages, but their music and their message connected people from around the world yeah. with different I mean, ethnicities, have background, gender, and age. Great. BTS has also causes, expressed yeah. their mm -hmm. love and respect for ARMY countless of times, such as always mentioning them first during speeches, mm -hmm. responding to fans on their social media app Weverse, showing their appreciation for ARMY projects, halting rehearsals for the Muslim prayers in Saudi Arabia. Awesome. The youngest member, yeah. Jungkook, even got the fandom name tattooed on his hand. Together with ARMY, they grew as individuals and as artists. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. So while people often discredit BTS's talent, likening their popularity to superficial aspects, 
that come with the image of a boy band. It is their development of personalities and sincerity towards their art and their fans that made their fandom the size and reach that it has become. I hope people will come to realize that BTS is more than just their singing and their dancing skills. They're not just performers, but artists who have healed and inspired millions of people around the world. For a deeper dive into BTS, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay updated. We're also working on more video projects and a website, so stay tuned. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. I, you know, I, I did learn a lot from you about, you know, the positive message that yeah. they are spreading. Um, but, yeah, I didn't know it was like that extensive that they you know they were donating the car oh yeah um you know besides just words they're actually taking actions right as well yeah you know you know you could be you know talk is cheap so mm -hmm. you know you, you gotta do the work as well so that that was kind of cool um yeah yeah for me of course you know you, you taught me most about what bts is oh yeah and then it was kind of cool when i saw the um um, I think I, I don't know if it was the Super Bowl uh, commercial where you know they didn't say anything but they just have a car. Oh yes. And, and they just, yeah, I was like, oh okay. I, I didn't know it was actually was if it was on the um the commercial, but it was. I think it yeah. was. I yeah. think it was. Yeah, I was like, oh okay, yeah. cool. Now you know, kind of like saw a l more like actually myself like, oh okay, cool. Right. Wow, they they are supporting on for environmental um mm -hmm. climate change climate and change. environmental yeah um i don't know what to call it um yeah i don't know combat environmental damages <laughs> i don't know, I don't know <laughs> but that's that because that's the thing it's like they have great music yeah you know they're attractive. I'm not gonna say they're not, <laughs> but they're there's like people see them just for the superficial things. Oh, they're attractive, or oh, they just do this yeah. and do that, and it's like they don't take the time to actually get to know them mm -hmm. and see what they do yeah. outside of music, which is contributing to yeah. charities and trying to fight, you know, climate change and right. donating a million dollars to Black Lives Matter, like yeah. People don't give them the chance, you know, to really think about or to get to know them and see what they're about. They're just like, oh, it's some boy band from yeah. Korea, you know. It's, it's like, so what it is, I, I, I it's like a learning a lesson from a fairy tale story. Essentially, that's how they are doing it, to my understanding, because mm -hmm. you know, music is a medium that everybody understands you know everybody listens to music songs so it's easy you know yeah. to get into and then but you really kind of need to focus and understand the underlining message mm -hmm. that they are trying to put out and if you can see beyond then like you said you know hey you know they're just a boy band or whatever right. it's for the looks and all that stuff and actually look into their Obviously, for me, I have no idea. All the stuff I listen is from you. Yeah. So, from what I've heard from you, of course, is the message that they are mm -hmm. telling through their music. It's, it's that's that's the important part of yeah. what they're doing. You know, they their purpose is to make sure that positivity is, mm -hmm. you know, it's there in in the world. Yeah. So, no, that's sure. no, that's that's amazing, you know. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. uh, yeah, it's been almost ten years, and hopefully they continue <laughs> to. I know. Do great things. I, I oh I know they will. Yeah. I know they will. But yeah, they're they're amazing, humble human beings who just want to make the world a better place through their music. Yeah. You know, like yeah. they have yeah. this huge platform and they actually use it for good and for positivity and putting out good messages yeah you know and also like a lot of artists you know 
they get big, they get famous, get rich, whatever. Yeah. And it's like they forget about their fans. Like, right. oh, I'm, you know, I'm the superstar in this and whatever. Yeah. They don't, they don't remember that their fans are, are who got them where they are, yeah. you know? Yeah. And BTS has never, um. Forgot, like. Yes. Yeah. They are, like, like I said in that yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. When they win awards, the first thing out of their mouth is ARMY. You know, <laughs> like, they're always so um, grateful to ARMYs and, and what they've helped them achieve, mm-hmm. which, obviously, they have the talent and everything, too. It's it's BTS, too, but the fans have uh, voted for them, bought their merch, gone to their concerts. Yeah. We support them because we believe in them, and they mm-hmm. never forget that that ARMY has help them get to where they've gotten. Yeah. And they still live stream. Even now, they live stream with fans, you know, mm-hmm. on V-Live. And they always talk to us. And yeah. they just do so much. So it's, it's it's really awesome that they haven't just thrown away their fans because they got yeah. rich and famous. Right. You know, they yeah. still are humble. Yeah. And still talk to their fans and thank their fans. And that I, I personally think that's really awesome. No, it is. It's it's that you know, the, <laughs> that one video you show me, um, where they, it was kind of like a quick clip where they went to L.A., and <laughs> it, the thing was one of the, um, one of the, I don't know, I would say teachers, I guess. Mm, the tutors. The tutors. They said, you know, never for. Oh no, it was not. The tutors. Oh no, it was the homeless was people homeless. when they were giving back. Yeah. Yes. Never forget where you came from. Yep. So, you know, they struggle um, to be where they are. Mm-hmm. And the fans gave them a chance. And so, you know, and they never forgot the fans. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just awesome people. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, like, people think fans only like them because they're cute and because they're this and they're that. <laughs> and like, yeah, they're cute and they're this and that. But it's like there's just so much more behind them right, yeah. than looks and their singing and their whatever. Mm-hmm. But people, especially in you know, in the Western world, don't want to give them a chance because they're a boy band mm-hmm. because they're whatever, yeah. and they won't give them that chance. And it's like even if you don't like their music, like you have to respect them as human beings. Yeah, of exactly. What they put out into the world. Right. Yeah. So you know. Everyone has their own way of making the world better. You know, mm-hmm. could be doctors. You know, they're saving people one right, patient exactly, a day. Right, exactly. Yeah. And they're singers and performers, and they're hopefully they influence and mm-hmm. change the mind of one person. You know, one yeah. day at a time for a positive. You know, it's anything that in your own way to Mm -hmm. make a positive impact to the world right yeah it's definitely something that we should applaud for and stop like you know criticism and all that stuff Mm -hmm. yeah i agree so yeah that's cool yeah (laughs) all right that was a good um intro video to bts yeah i learned Good uh, deal. Good stuff, good stuff. And I got the whole uh, actual... <laughs> Army bomb. Uh, actual one, yeah. <laughs> They're actually pretty cool, actually. They are really yeah. cool. So, I do nice. like the newer one. The newer one, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll do this one another, another day. She has one, you know, this is BTS Army that talks about just the fandom. Okay. Um, But yeah, I think this is a really good video to start off. Um, for you, <laughs> I'm I'm already sitting here thinking about what to do. Oh next. my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get him schooled up, y'all. Oh no, gosh, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and if you enjoy the content, and leave us some contents down or comments down below. Um, let me know what I should uh, show him next. I'm, I'm definitely going to be showing him, this is BTS ARMY, but I'm also going to show him the hardship video. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably, oh my god, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Oh my goodness. Get this 
one. Yes, the most beautiful life goes on a story of yes, Asian theory. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a great one. Oh wow. Okay. Um but I'm yeah. Let me know what you guys think I should show him next. <laughs> and as far as music videos, introductions, all that good stuff. Is uh learning. Um I am learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're happy, healthy, and safe. And I love you so much. Thank you for being here with us today on this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.